Hi everyone, this is some footage from the 1080p FPV camera of the Box 5W. And here is the drone itself. Welcome to the tech for all channel, you're looking at the best camera drone you can buy right now for less than $200, let's get to the details. If you have never heard of MJX as a company before, probably you're not that much into budget-friendly drones, but for the last couple of years they have grown significantly and now we have the B5W which, well, it's still far away from professional-grade photography drones, but they're slowly getting there. Probably the Bux 5W is going to be among the best sellers of camera drones, especially knowing its price tag of just below $200. I think it's important to praise and give credit to companies that are being innovative. An year and a half ago, there was the Bucks 3 released, it's still unclear how many units of that one MJX has sold, but there are so many rebranded Bucks 3 copies that I wouldn't be surprised to have a double digit market share. After the Bucks 3, we have the Bucks 2, which doesn't sound right, but yes, 3 was before the 2. And the Box 2 had two variations, one with a regular SD camera and one with a Wi-Fi camera. By the way, the B2W had phenomenal range of operation. You can check the range test I've concluded, uh, going more than kilometer. And I've seen online people claiming that they were able to bring it like up to three kilometers away, which is just spectacular. Let's have a look what's inside the box. And I'll take the opportunity and thank MJX for sending the 5W for a review and of course a range test is about to follow sooner or later. The box is similar to last year's models and the drone is well protected from any kind of shocks. Included components are standard. There's a smartphone holder, quite a good one, there is a charging kit, a few replacement units, the transmitter and the drone itself. The battery performance is something that I'm still exploring. Uh, we know the capacity. It's the same as the one we had on the Bux 3 and the Bux 2 models, 1800 mAh, 25C, and that should be good for around 15 minutes of flight. The build quality of the drone is superb. MJX have been testing through the years a few different materials. Uh, starting with the Bux 3, there was a more flexible kind of plastic, which was rather easy to break. Uh, then we had the Bux 2, which had a glossy finish and uh, felt somewhat cheaper. And the plastic here seems to be thick and shock resistant. Only concern may be the landing gear. Not sure if these pieces can survive a serious crash, but are luckily easy to find and not expensive at all. MJX have packed with the 5W a few very exciting features, including a follow me, uh, waypoints, points of interest and a wonderful 1080p 5G FPV camera. So far, that sounds great. And it's an enhancement to the additions we already had with the Bux 2, like headless mode, GPS, altitude hold, automatic return and so on. And all that makes the 5W a very attractive choice, especially for the price. The main difference between it and more expensive models is of course the camera. The cheapest DJI model, for example, the DJI Spark, also has a 1080p camera, however it has a two-axis gimbal and software-driven third axis, which gives you fabulously steady footage. It's going to feel a bit more shaky, but probably not as shaky as you would expect. Let's check the flight performance. Before you first take off, it is a good idea to read the user guide because the functions supported are quite many. It is a good idea to install the Bucks Go app. The start screen lets you choose your exact model and there is also a detailed guide about all the functions. And their amount is impressive. It is hard to believe that all that has made it to a less than $200 device. On top of it, the app is really lightweight and is going to run fine even on smartphones, which are not that powerful. Uh, on the other side, keep in mind uh, the connection is 5G, so if your phone doesn't support it, 
you won't be able to use it. I'm ready to do my first flight in terrible weather conditions. It's windy, but challenge accepted, and it's supposed to be summer, but never mind. So uh, we take in the battery, and the gimbal has uh, done its calibration. And I guess after we lock the battery, we're gonna be all set for doing the connection with the transmitter. And they're connected right away. Okay, uh, the next part, I guess it's the calibration. Um, so what do we do is to, I think it's counterclockwise, three times. No? Yes? And then after those are green, we point the camera to the top position and make another three. Okay, that means calibrated. So, let's see, do we have GPS? Yes, I've enabled the GPS signal. And now we wait for GPS, basically. The big moment, the first Take off. That baby is awesome. Motors are quite powerful and at the same time not that noisy. Stability is at a top level. So are both the GPS and barometer. There have been no serious deviations during my flights. You probably know that being connected to at least 7-8 satellites is desirable for more precise operation. There is of course the option to disable the GPS assistance. This will increase a bit the flight time, but will make you do more by compensating the movements manually. Automatic takeoff, automatic landing, uh, fail-safe return to home when the battery is too low. Uh, these features have never failed me so far. And the waypoints are quite interesting too, letting you draw a path that the 5W is going to follow. Be very careful with these waypoints, the B5W does not have any distance sensors and you can get yourself in an adventurous situation because of that. I totally forgot about the lack of sensors and almost ended in a few tall pine trees. In the event of crashing it beyond your sight or just losing it out of sight, you will have to search it without any sound aid, meaning that this model does not have a beeper unlike some of the previous MJX Copter modems. The follow me function here is based on the location of your smartphone, meaning that if you leave the smartphone at a certain place, this is where the drone will stay and is going to be focused on. This kind of follow me function is different to the one that you know from DJI models, where an object is being identified from the camera and the software algorithms. Such kind of intelligence, of course, requires much more powerful computing hardware. But on the other side, the simplicity of the algorithm here is its strongest advantage. In the end, one thing the Bucks 5W cannot do, uh, unlike some of the older Bucks models, flips. You can't do flips. That's sort of expected and has technical explanations. Uh, the primary technical reason is the camera. And here's some more footage. The video stream is 1080p and quality is satisfactory. On a bright day, you will see a lot of details. If light is less, the video won't be superb, but because of the limited megapixels, the camera is quite good at low light as well. It has a lot of noise, but many objects are well visible. You can also do photos. They are activated by a short press of the button. The long press starts the video recording and you will notice a change in the LED indication. As for conclusion, 
I'm delighted. Uh, MJX first drone, which was based on brushless motors, the Bucks 3 was released um, less than two years ago. So within that time, the company has grown to a level where they release this wonderful piece of tech, the B5W. Certainly that drone would not be suitable for people who are looking for pro great cinematic features, but still the camera is pretty good. 1080p is still a well-known standard and even the majority of videos on YouTube are still recorded and uploaded at 1080p. And it's really amazing how many features have been packed within this drone at a price of less than $200. And I believe this is gonna be among the best sellers of camera drones for 2018. That is the best ratio of features that you get for the price. And that's been everything about the B5W and my initial thoughts about it. I'm of course going to carry on testing and trying different things with this drone. Of course, a range test is on the pipeline. As usual for any kind of uh, ideas, remarks, comments, there's a very suitable section below the video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Hopefully you can check some of the other materials on the channel and I'll make sure to see you soon. Cheers.